Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters, Sorgatron.com. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes I was yesterday. All right, so I wanted to continue the podcasting thread. Um, and, uh, you know, I had this idea and I kind of wanted to ask it on Twitter just in general. And uh, why not? Why not have a conversation about it? Where where do you podcast? How do you podcast? Not, not where are you recording? Um, or how are you listening to podcasts? Where are you listening to podcasts? I, I had this idea because I'm really interested on where where along people's lives that they find the time to do this. Now, I know a lot of a lot of people I talk to. Uh, my wife, for instance, like she has no place in the day that she can listen to podcasts, really, right? Um, or at least that, that, that she's selected. She doesn't have a long commute. Um, half the time I'm driving her to work because we're, we're down to one car again, and um, and uh, and she's not a person that can say put a podcast on in the background. Uh, so she really doesn't have a place for that. She listens to podcasts when I'm live streaming on Tuesday night, and she's helping us with the show notes. Oh, I love her. Uh, it, it 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 and that's it. So she's not a person that's going to immediately get into something like this. And and I think most people need to have that kind of chunk of time where I need to have some audio. Now, for me, podcasting became huge because I had a job that that I could throw something on in the background. Yes, it was video editing, but for the most part, you know, it's mostly visual. You just cut off the podcast whenever I need to actually pay attention to the audio um, or do that final review, you know, whatever the case may be. But I got a lot of podcast listening done over that time. And even audiobooks to to that extent, or an hour uh, a drive that I have I've had out uh, for the past five years for uh, my Monday my Monday client, um, you know that that's been a huge big thing for that. Or just generally when I'm working, I kind of throw it on. Or if there's a video version, I'll, I'll Chromecast it to the TV uh, if I'm working in, in at at home, um, or throw it on an iPad on the desk. You know, just ha- have something. You know, just having something on in the background is kind of uh, shooting information. And to me, that's just like having a talk radio station on in the office. And uh, and and you're you're not absorbing everything, but you're getting a lot of it, right? And and then it made me wonder, you know, how are how are other people listening? Are they using the same kind of methods? Are they um, are they doing them while they're jogging? And also, I, I think mainly, I can't think that a lot of people are listening to podcasts and not doing something else. I'm going to sit down with this podcast and sit in this chair and chillax and listen to this podcast. Like, I don't think that's happening. I think you're driving, you're working, you're walking, you're 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 doing the laundry, you're you're cleaning the house. You know, I, I, this is not a this is not a unitask solution. What we're doing with podcasting, I think, for the most part, is filling is filling the headspace uh, during menial tasks. Um, versus, you know, I think that's why our video versions of these shows do, don't do quite as well. Because, you know, it, 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 who has an hour and a half to throw up uh, our Wrestling Mayhem show on the TV and listen to that. I mean, even when I'm doing it for the shows that I I, I, I listen to and watch, I interchange them uh, for their versions. Um, I'm throw, Again, throw it on the TV while I'm working, while something else is going on. And, and it's like when they say something that was like that, that they're actually showing off, I can say, oh, OK, that, that's what they're talking about. And then go back to my thing. Um, so I think that needs to inform a little bit expectations when we're uh, developing our podcasts um, as far as feedback, as far as other things. I, I know I know. for me, a lot of times I'll be listening to a show while I'm driving and they'll say, you guys should completely contact us on, on something that's going on or hey, you guys should check out this website and do this thing. And I have no mechanism to do that. I've actually started uh, using Siri to take notes and make reminders as I'm driving to hopefully come back to that thing that podcast talked about. To varying degrees of success, I might get to a week later and I'm just like, what the hell did I mean by that? You know, what are they talking about? And trying to think like, what podcast did I listen to this last week? Uh, it, it, you know, usually the Mac breaks in the, in the back to works are the ones that, 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 that pop to mind that that happens in. Um, so maybe, you know, something like, hey, there's all these sites and, and you know, maybe is something we need to do a little more clearly with AwesomeCast. Uh, hey, did you miss any links? To, you know, uh, you know, go back to this. Here's our show notes. We have all the stories right here, and we don't link the stories. I know, but we list them. We list the stuff that we talked about. Uh, but we really should probably do a better job at that. Um, or even the shows. I, you know, I get I get partially annoyed when we uh, I'm listening to a show, 
and they say, hey, check out our show notes. Like, okay. And there's no show notes for a Mac breaker this week in tech yet. Um, I believe some shows like Daily Tech News Show, you actually can click through right into their Google Docs. So you see all the links that they have. I think that's a really cool thing. Um, if, as long as you don't have any information in there, you don't need you know, to be privatized, you know, why not? You can put a Google Doc up that you're doing for your podcast, and now everybody can see your notes. Everybody can see the stories that were there, the stories that were considered. For us, we load up the awesome cast with a bunch of stories and often don't get to them all. And uh, and I think it's been a, a it, it's worked out pretty well. But then there's a bunch of stories that you know again you know, maybe maybe you want to know what we left on the on the on the cutting room floor uh, as we were going through and and, and getting short on time because some of the conversations went a little bit longer, and uh, that's a way to do that. Or even I don't know maybe there's something about the way that we present that can maybe you need to get more attention out of the person is it just something droning on in the background or is it something that i almost want to say your goal has to be to distract the person listening from the other thing they're trying to do does that make sense like i i i want i want to a certain point uh on say a wrestling mayhem show uh if you're if you're listening to a podcast about wrestling I want you to stop what you're doing, drop them off, and say, I never thought about that idea for WrestleMania. Or, holy crap, that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Or, or wow, that's outrageous. You know, I kind of want that reaction. I kind of want... I, I'm, challenging, I'm challenging your other task. I am in direct opposition to your other task. I'm, I'm thankful for your earball, earballs on this one. But I still want to get the attention into the show because if we're, if we're just passive in the background i mean what's the difference between us and the next show but if we're the ones that are like well those guys always always bring me back in no matter what we're doing you know what i'm doing i i think that's uh that can be a pretty significant accomplishment as a podcaster i think uh and i think that should be a a, a pretty good goal you know to to you know just, and really that's a good it's a good kind of gauge for you you know how interesting is the stuff I'm putting out you know and uh, if you get that yeah you know I was uh, I, I <laughs> sometimes the uh, um, I can't listen to you at work anymore because I start laughing out loud and everybody looks at me is a really great compliment as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so that's that's the kind of thing I'm looking at there. so let me know what you think and uh, tell me. How are you listening to your podcast? If you, if you listen to this or, or other shows that I do, how are you listening to them? Where are you listening to them? If it's something personal, that's okay. You can leave that to yourself. But, uh, but, but widely, I want to know. I, I, I want a general idea of, of where you guys are listening to these things and get a good idea of that. And, uh, and, uh, and, and are, we, are we making you kind of stop you know, in, your, in your place when it comes to that? You know, and the best thing is when I'm listening to a podcast on the way home from from a job and I'm just laughing, you know, just laughing to myself, looking like a maniac to the drivers around me. Hey, what's up, Parkway East? Um, so let me know what you think. Where are you watching? How are you watching? What catches your attention? But mostly, where are you watching your podcast, listening to your podcast, watching it with your ear holes, whatever the case may be. Sorgatron.com. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.